Hey everybody, this is day two of teardrop number two. I built one teardrop, the first one, without plans. I wanted to see if I could do it. It turned out pretty nice and I really enjoyed that. So I decided to build another one. And a friend of mine bought the other one. It's a four foot wide one. This one's going to be five feet wide. So um, I'm, I put my cradle back together. I still kept the, had the parts laying around for the, from the first cradle which is your, what you're looking at now is a cradle and I but I did shorten it a little bit I made it only six feet long so that the when I build a teardrop it'll, the ends will hang off each end and I can get at the ends a little bit easier uh, it's still four feet wide which is fine because the new teardrop is going to be five feet wide and now I'll allow my size to hang over each side by six inches so, the reason for that is screws in the side walls or through the bottom up into the walls. I don't have to lift it up or scoot it over. And I put a couple extra. Last time it was just a, an end piece here and an end piece down there. Now I put you know one there and then one there and then a little piece here and a little piece right down there. To uh, so if I for whatever reason like when a fiberglass in the bottom. I uh, take it, uh, push it down like that. Uh, it won't fall. No chance of it, you know, falling through there. So I got casters on all four wheels. Uh, don't go and pay six or eight dollars a wheel for casters. Go to Harbor Freight or Northern Tool and buy one of those um, furniture dollies. And you can see the furniture is always sitting right over there by the red fan. Take the wheels off of it because those are very good wheels. Take the wheels off of it and put them on the bottom. And when you build your frame for your your cradle, you put your little, little piece of plywood here, little piece of plywood there, and I dadoed in the two by fours here. So it's not only sitting on there, it's screwed into that. And I made it about, I think 19 inches tall. So it's roughly the same height as most of the small trailers. So pretty much what you do once you get your, your teardrop done, is back your trailer right up to this. And there's usually holes in the end of the teardrop. And just take some leg bolts and bolt it to this and then chalk the wheels and then slide your teardrop onto your trailer. And you can take this and if you decide you need it for something, you could always, always uh, keep that and turn it into a, a lot of different things. It's kind of low. Be world's biggest coffee table on your porch. So you could just use that again for whatever reason or do like I did and disassemble it and put it aside and then put it back together and build your second teardrop. But like I said, I had so much fun building the first one and we went and camped it at one time. It was great fun. I suggest if you're gonna build one, build a five foot or six foot wide one. Um, neither my wife or I are big people, but that little 46 and a half inch teardrop is uh, tight quarters. And this is pretty much my size right here, 190 pounds, and she's like 115 pounds. So, give it some thought. Uh, this one, I'm still going to use a four foot wide trailer on it, and then have the the teardrop hang over the side, so the wheels will pretty much be flush with the uh, trailer. So that way, when I push a tent up against one of the small tents up up against the side, I don't have a fender to contend with, you know, sticking into my into my tent. All right, uh, hang in there, and as soon as I get the floor done or some more progress, I will post another video. Thank you for watching.